So a lot of people have asked me what I use to back up my data in Linux Mint. So there are two ways that I back up. One way is my whole system, including the operating system files and all of my data, my configuration files. The other way that I back up is just my data. Now when I install Linux Mint for the first time, I do a system-wide backup. That way if I have any problems with critical files like operating system files, I just do a restore. And then I regularly do a backup of my data so I don't have to do a continual backup of my operating system. So the program that I use to back up all my data on a regular basis is called Deja Dupe Backups. So you go to your software manager, type in Deja, D-E-J-A, and right here, Deja Dupe Backups. Then you just click to install it. Okay, so before we launch it, I want to actually put it on my panel down here on the bottom. But the funny thing is, it's not called Deja Dupe. If you search for the program, you're not going to find it. What you have to do is search for backups. So there it is right there. So if I right click on it and then left click add to panel, it'll put it down on my panel for me. And then we can just launch it right from there anytime I need to. So the first thing it wants to do is to create our first backup. So we just go ahead and click on create your first backup. Now here it's asking us what folder we want to back up. Now of course this folder here, home, really contains all of my data. If you go here to home, you'll see it's got everything. My desktop, documents, downloads, music, pictures, videos. Then a lot of my configuration files for things like uh, Thunderbird, GRSync, and even my genealogy program, Gramps. So it's got pretty much everything that I would need to back up. This is where all of my data actually resides. So that's fine, that's all I need to do. If I wanted to add a folder, then I would just click uh, right here, add backup, and now it's also going to ignore trash and it's going to ignore downloads, which is fine. So we click forward. And now for location, it's default to Google Drive. I don't have a Google Drive, I don't want a Google Drive. So I'm gonna change it to a local folder. And then the folder name, I'm gonna pick a different location and click on a folder here. I'm gonna actually just use my USB drive I'm going to create a folder on it called Backups. So this is where it's going to put it. So I hit Select and then hit Forward. And now it's actually going to ask me, do I want to password protect it? Now if you want to password protect it, then you just go ahead and leave this button turned on. And then down here, it'll say Remember Password. That way it'll always remember the password uh, on this machine only. So if you want it to remember it, then turn that on. Uh, I don't need it to uh, password protect, so I'm just going to turn that off and then hit forward. So when it's done backing up, it brings me right back to this screen here. So this says most recent backup today. So the first thing, let's go into preferences. Now if you want it to back up automatically, I can turn this button on right here. And then do I want it to back up weekly? daily, every two days, every three days. If you want it to back up, you can, I mean, back up forever if you want to. You can have it back up at least for a year. It'll keep your backups. Well, I mean, if you want to do it weekly, then you're looking at 52 backups. But if you have it, just go like three months, and then you do it weekly, that's going to be 12 backups. So if you want it to back up automatically, just turn that button on. I don't. I turn it off. I back it up whenever I have time or feel like it or I've done some major uh, work on my computer. Now if you want to restore it, you hit the restore button and it'll search for the backups that you've done. Now down in the bottom right here, you'll see it found today's date. And if I click on that, here's all the folders that it backed up in that home directory. I can actually select certain folders if I want to. Uh, I don't have to restore everything. I can just hold down my control button and select different folders that I want to restore. So let's say I just wanted to restore oh, my genealogy, my GR sync, my desktop, and I just select those three, then hit restore. And I can restore to the original locations or to a different folder. I'm just gonna hit original location. And there it goes, your files were successfully restored. That's all there is to backing up your data in Linux Mint, super easy.